Hey guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can read from a CSV file and append it to the already existing CSV file using Python programming language. So the steps are like I have to open the CSV file in order to read it. Right. So I'll this open my file, then I will read it and I'll write it to the list. Okay then close it then open the other file that you want to append it then write it then close it right so these steps we are going to follow in our case uh, i have using 2.csv as our input file so let me take this uh, let me take this path So I have taken, I have imported my CSV package already. Then with open, let me open our CSV file that we want to read. Two dot CSV as R file. Okay, this. CSV dict reader. I am using the dict reader because I only wanted to take one of the column from the input file, not the other, all the columns. Okay, so I need this name column only. So for that reason, I am using dict reader here. This we can write it to the reader. Okay, then in order to read it, I have got it into the reader variable. Now, use the for loop for something like row in reader and try to print it first. Then we'll come to know what we are reading is correctly or not. So this field I needed. So I have to use the field name here. We try to execute this. Now you could see we got the data properly. Now this data I am going to put it into the list so that when I am writing to the other CSV file I can directly use that list. Okay. So let me take one list like this. End of this thing, I can use it directly. Okay, now once it's the once I wait into the list, I can simply close this file, right? So, our file dot close, I can use. see it got closed that's fine then what we can do here is whatever the once we have read completely whatever the file that i want to append it i need to open that as well so i use this line again here but in append mode append mode like this file you want to write it to i wanted to write it to my target file as 3.csv to this name field only okay so 3 should come here append mode like this as append a file so this is my target file okay then i can use something like this writer is equal to csv dot Then this which data you want to write? I want to write this data. This in the list. Okay. So I need to use for loop 
so that I can iterate each and every item in the list. Right. So list one, I can use. This is fine. Writer dot write row of this item. Okay. This is clear. But if you see in our target CSV file, we need to have two columns ID and name. This ID we are generating. Okay. So for that, what I'll do is I'll take one variable something like i is equal to 3. And here I'll use that variable i into something like this. Each and every time I am increasing the value of i. Okay. Once it is written properly, I can simply close this file. Right. That's it. So. Okay. Okay. Permission denied because the file is already open. Completed. Now, if you see uh, 3.csv, okay, we got something like this 3 and 4. Reversely, we got, we need to see why it is item and name. Writer dot write name. Write row. Okay, give me a minute. Yeah guys, so that we have seen the output in a in a in a reverse manner. Right? This is because of the value that I am initializing. If I take zero, which will be like a generic here. If I take something like three here, three or four, what happens is like it will take it as a integer value and it is changing the order. Okay. Whatever the line that I am going to write it to the CSV file, I am actually printing on the console. Now you could see it is changing the order, okay, based on the ASCII value, okay. So if I take something like this, it will take it as a string and it is writing properly, okay. So that is a small thing that I have observed. I hope it's informative for you guys and do let me know these things. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.